G'day Andrew from Miss Mill RC, back for our first video of 2024. In today's video, a little bit different, we're going to be doing an unboxing. Today we received a parcel via UPS from Nova in Italy, so let's get into it. <laughs> So I've been in RC for probably 20 years, maybe even longer than that. One of these days I'll have to sit down and try and work out how long it's been exactly. And I honestly didn't really think that there was a warranty on RC products, especially nitro engines. But we're about to learn that isn't the case. For 2024, I decided I wanted to try a different nitro engine in 1.8 scale nitro pan car I wanted to move away from OS as hadn't exactly had great experience with their nine ports isn't a lot of options I've been following Nova since Nova Rossi closed in early 2020 with COVID and took the plunge in August 2023 to purchase the R9R for 2024 went through my normal oil bath process and if you've watched my nitro engine braking video you'll know that the oil bath that we use gives a um, reading for the load on the electric motor that turns the nitro engine over in the oil bath so I knew looking at that number the starting point and then also the finishing numbers that I was getting after seven hours in the oil bath that the Nova was still very tight it didn't react the same way as a OS based engine would. Um, so it was going to need a lot more heat cycles on a normal braking bench and a lot of patience. So I did that, eventually got to the track, finish off that process, starting to work towards a race tune and the engine locked up and that's not the best feeling when that happens. On further investigation, the rod had failed and at the time, I had put it down to maybe I should have had already replaced the rod. Normally I would do that after I'd finished that track break-in process. So I was pretty dejected. I'd spoken to the store where I'd bought it from and wasn't getting a lot of assistance from them. In fact, they were kind of saying it was the oil bath that had caused it. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. Um, that's for another video. <laughs> um, so I was a bit dejected, uh, money was tight at the time, um, so I put it aside, I had, still had engines to see out the 2023 season. I'd been talking to a regular great supporter of Miss Mill RC who was quite interested in the Nova engine and probably would have got one himself had they been available a little bit earlier. And before I knew it, he'd paid it forward, purchased a new Conrod for me, which is very kind of him. He's dead keen on RC and an uh, avid retro nitro pan car collector. So back to the track, new rod installed, did a tank on the bench idling. Rich, well, even before I started it, I richened both needles. Out of the tank through, then decided to go back on the track with it to continue working towards that race tune and didn't even get half a tank and the new rod failed. Uh, yeah, was well over it by this point. Um, had been talking to a um, contact on Facebook in Sweden who um, was changing two Nova engines in 2024 and before i knew it he'd been in contact with andrea rossi seeing if he could assist me andrea had come back to him and said yes we can help him get him to contact us so i did that and i'd like to thank richard from um Ascroft in sweden I'm, I'm sorry if i got your name wrong um for your help with that so i emailed nova as i said i never really expected much to come of that um I, in fact i always thought nitro engine manufacturers the warranty finished when they left the factory um, after that it was just use error um i had a great experience dealing with andrea's son Mirko, um and they wanted me to send the engine back to them in italy 
before I sent the engine back to Nova, I'd spoken to um, another customer in New Zealand who had purchased a Nova engine, the same R9R. And he'd actually had a better experience than me and had done some racing with his, had done his normal Conrad service and, and then experienced issues. And talking to Richard in Sweden, he also had a friend who also had similar issues with the rod, so I didn't think it all me, <laughs> although you never know. This was only a few weeks before Christmas. I, I did that, put a nice story together and went through everything, sent it all back. Um, yeah, and they they did actually receive it before Christmas. Then they went on their Christmas break, so nothing happened too much until after they returned. Um, yeah, within a week of them coming back from their Christmas New Year holidays, um, Merco had advised me that um, it was ready to ship and then I had an email with uh, tracking details and today it arrived from UPS. So I really want to say a big thank you to Andrea and Merco and everyone at Nova for their help with this. It was a um, great customer service experience and um, a pleasant experience the whole way through so I just wanted to thank them for that so let's get into the unboxing alrighty the unboxing let's do it one engine box So it's the same box that I sent it in. We do have a revised engine carb. Now, this is the updated mole, the yet to be released from what I understand, R9R Evo. So this is the same spec that the team drivers ran in Japan. And I'm of the impression that about 90% of it is new. compared to the one that I sent back. Might be the same head, with just new graphics on the top. Same back plate, I'm pretty sure. And maybe the same carby. But the crankcase, piston and sleeve and crank are all revised and new spec. So that's pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to um, getting it on track and giving it a run. So yeah, big thank you to Nova. And um, look forward to burning some nitro with it. Thank you for watching. I hope that was exciting. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us or um, through, through our website, through social media, or leave a comment below. Don't forget to share with your friends if you think they might be interested. Thank you. Bye.